breaking news on News Channel 8. And we start with that breaking news. The view from Eagle 8 HD tonight. A deadly crash taking the life of a pedestrian. Good evening, I'm Keith Kate. I'm Jennifer Lee. Thank you for joining us tonight. That breaking news involves a crash in Pasco County. It has left a pedestrian dead. It happened along US 19 and Bayonet Point at Johnson Road. News Channel 8's Peter Bernard joins us there now live. Peter. Hello there, Jen. Just now we noticed the medical examiner's van has pulled up. Investigators from the Highway Patrol are behind me right now. You can see over there, they're investigating this crash. Take a look at the scene from Eagle 8 HD, and you can see it from above. This happened north of Ranch Road and south of State Route 52 in Pasco County. If you're familiar with this area, this is not far from the Martini uh, Liquor Lounge. From what we can tell so far, what we can piece together, the driver of a light-colored Isuzu Trooper was going north on US-19, and for some unknown reason, a man tried to cross east to west and in the road got hit on the far right lane. The impact took both of his sneakers off. We noticed a hat in the road. Uh, major damage also to that SUV. A passenger in the SUV, the driver's son, tells me the victim hit the windshield and then was flung over the SUV and he landed in the right turn lane. We were going to go to Walmart to get some uh, groceries and then we were driving and we didn't see the guy until he hit the car. Wow. So explain the mechanics of it. You guys are northbound and he's just standing in the road? Standing, walking, I don't know. We didn't see him until he hit the car. This is the exact same spot where I reported on another fatal pedestrian crash. On July 9th, an unmarked Pasco County deputy struck and killed a 62-year-old woman. And just like this crash, the deputy was heading north in a Dodge Charger and hit the woman as she tried to cross. The deputy performed CPR, but she did not make it. You can see behind me, this is the northbound lanes of Highway 19. It is still closed. All traffic is being diverted, and they're heading out to the west, either to the west or having to make a U and figuring out how to get to their destination north of this crash scene. Live in Hudson, Peter Bernard, 8 on your side.